Hello YouTube, Let's Go Giants 98 here. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests on how to set up Skulltig for online play. And so, instead of trying to explain to people uh, by, you know, typing and, you know, back and forth messaging, I figured I'd do a quick little how-to tutorial on how to configure it. So first of all, you're going to need three things. Number one is a the full version of Doom and Doom 2, not Doom Shareware, because that's not going to work. Second is Skulltag, which you can go to Skulltag.com and download the latest version. And the, the single player and the multiplayer come bundled. And third, obviously, is an internet connection to play online. So, um... When you install Skulltag, you'll get these two icons here. These two. It'll say play single player with the Skulltag icon, and then you'll have a second one, which is just sort of like a red man, and it just says Skulltag. So obviously, we don't want to play single player. We want to play multiplayer. So we'll p click on the red man. And let's move this up here. Okay, so now you're going to be with this screen. Now this is the um, multiplayer server uh, interface thing. I don't know if you want to, whatever you want to call it. Um, now first you're going to notice obviously the list of servers here, the name of the server, where the server is located, um, how many players, uh, um, which is just how many little guys are next to it, and um, more importantly the ping which is how good the connection is. Obviously a lower number would be a better connection, higher number would be a uh, worse connection. Um, which map you're going to be using in in the WAD and the, uh, the different WADs that are required to play in the server. Now when it says multi-WAD you're going to be required to use more than one WAD whereas where it it says um, in this example internal conflict at PK3 that's only one wad so and well obviously at the end game type there's CTF team LMS team game survival co-op dual and all kinds of um, cool game types which I suggest that you explore all of them because they're all fun alright down to basics now um, this this button right here, the RA, is going to refresh all the servers since they don't refresh normally on their own. So if you want to join a game, you're going to have to manually refresh it. And let's see what else. Uh, you can refresh all servers, refresh the current server, which would be this one that's highlighted. Um, and I think it's refreshed already, so. Uh, just to give you a quick idea on how many people play, still play Doom Online, um, this is the player list. And as you can see, there are still are a significant amount of people that like to play Doom. Which is, which is good. Because, uh, you know, it is, it is a lot of fun, I suggest you. Um, if you do have Doom or Doom 2, download Skulltag and uh, try it out for yourself. You won't be disappointed. So... Now you're asking yourself, okay, I have Doom, I have the Doom WAD, um, how do I configure it, how do I get it running, because, you know, I double click on it and nothing happens, and, you know, error messages come up and can't find your WAD. First of all, what you're going to want to do is put your IWAD, meaning Doom, or Doom 2, or both, or Plutonia, TNT, uh, Master Levels, anything like that in your Skulltag directory which normally this one this one I added on my own which is uh, documents setting my name uh, desktop which slash wads which is uh, this folder right here which will open up for you and this is a list of all the wads that I've download so, downloaded so far um, from other people playing Skulltag and I'll get to that in a little bit 
So basically, you can add your own path. So when you go to start the game, it'll automatically search for the required wads for that server. And if it finds it, it'll start the game. If not, it'll give you a message saying can't find it or missing wads or whatever. So just for the sake of simplicity, um, just put it in the skull tag directory, which will be this one. Um, I wads and all other wads that you need. Now secondly, um, you're going to need to download wads from the servers because they require a whole bunch of wads and all kinds of weird things that people make and you know they host games people join and when people join they need to have that same wad so they download it and they put it in their uh, directory so that when you go to double click on one of the servers it'll see the iwad that's required and it'll see the, all the different PWADs that are required it'll load them all up and then you'll just get right into a game so when you go to download a wad from one of these servers uh... what it's going to do is you can either well I'll say for this one let's give you an example of one i don't have it'll give you an error message and it'll say necessary wads not found and it'll ask you to search wads so for me um, this method doesn't work for some people it might um, I don't know why it's saying can't connect to a remote host. I don't know what that's all about, but um, what you can do is you can find the server that you want to join. Uh, click on it, whatever, and um, actually I have both of these wads. Let's check one more. All right, let's do. Yeah, let's do this one. Doesn't matter. This is just an example. And what you're gonna do when it's highlighted, you're going to press the W key on your keyboard. And what that's going to do, it's going to bring up your browser and go to the particular person's uh, web page, which they set up, and it'll give you a chance to download uh, whatever wads that you need. So for this one, uh, we need ZDoomWars 204 and ZDoomWars Maps 204.wad. Okay. So we're going to leave this up, go back to our browser. And I guess this guy, alright, let's try a different one. So I can't find this guy's wads. It wasn't on that, uh, that web page. Oh, did the skull tag freeze? Alright. So let's try this one. Alright, so we need this, DW20. Alright, we got to press the W key again. It's going to bring up a browser. And now you can see um, a directory of this guy's wads. And what I normally do is double click it, get the list. So it says I need DIB20 and EWEPS. So I'll go back to my browser, I'm going to hit Control F. And then, since I don't feel like searching for these things, some people have like thousands of wads and it's almost impossible to find in an alphabetical order. So I'm just going to type in DIB and see if I can find it. And I can't. DIB. funny this guy doesn't have wads on his website either all right let's try another one uh yeah let's try this let's try this popular one. Oh wait i have it already never mind uh yeah this one um okay press w again let's get this guy's website And we need actually you can just go like this and just highlight it. We need AOW right here. We need 
Sigma 3 Final, 3D Models, Music and Sound. Music, download, save. Uh, we need, I know my internet's, my internet's pretty bad. So we download this, we then we need 3D models and Sigma 3 final. 3D models and Sigma, save. Sigma 3 final, save. And let that download. <laughs> 